Last week, CSGO source code got leaked. Is it safe to play now? Hey, what's up guys? It's Tibber here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're going to be talking about the whole CSGO leaked code thing that got, that happened about a week ago. So I did make a video on the first day and you know, I was just making a video letting people know, like I made, I made a video warning them that this could possibly be an issue. And now that it's been a week, now that we've had a chance to see if it really was going to become an issue, honestly, at least in CSGO, it really hasn't. So a couple hours after I posted my video, CSGO basically said this on their Twitter. We have reviewed the leaked code and believe it to be a reposting of a limited CSGO agent code depot released to partners in late 2017 and originally leaked in 2018. From this review, we have not found any reason for players to be alarmed or avoid the current builds. As always, playing on the official servers is recommended for greater security. We will continue to investigate the situation and will update news outlets and players if we find anything to prove otherwise. In the meantime, if anyone has more information about this leak, the Valve security page next tweet describes how to report the, that information. And then uh, they tweeted out basically a link to their the Valve securities. So, And Valve actually has a pretty cool system in place where if you find any exploits or bugs, you can actually report it to Valve and they will give you a cash reward. So it's kind of cool. So, you know, if anybody if anybody figures out anything, they can just report it to Valve and they can fix it a lot easier. But in the last week, I wanted to give it about a week or so just to see if people were having issues with like their accounts. Like, you know, have like I looked into it and as far as I saw, um, nothing really has happened that was like no noteworthy. However, though, the one thing that that this will impact obviously is going to be the the amount of cheaters. According to like people on Reddit and according to people online, everyone has been saying like they've been playing with way more cheaters than ever. And this is just because you know the source code got leaked and now it's easier to make cheats that can bypass like Valve's systems. So basically, moral of the story: you can play CS:GO again. Like. I mean, actually, you could always play CSGO, but Valve, def they, well, they recommend that you play on official matchmaking servers. So regular competitive, wingman, deathmatch, arms race, stuff like that. I played some face it and I had no problems with face it. So you can also do face it. And then some community servers are okay. Some sketchier community servers could be used to abuse this. So I would highly recommend if you do go on community servers, try to stick to ones that are more popular. Like don't just go on some random sketchy HVH community server because that could be a little risky right now. But yeah, honestly, like as long as you just play face it or regular matchmaking there are no issues whatsoever team fortress 2's twitter actually posted something about it as well and it pretty much says the exact same thing except for tf2 and obviously they haven't found anything and if valve if they do find anything at all that could be bad for the community they will let everyone know immediately so like a week ago i think it was it was good to be safe but now that it's been about a week and nothing has really happened i think everything is all right like there, there's pretty much no reason not to play the game anymore so basically just to like re rehash what I said, or basically to like rephrase what I just said in a simpler, easier way to understand, you can play CSGO. There's no reason, like you, if you uninstalled it, you can go ahead and reinstall it and hop on. And also like if you play in like offline communities, if you play in offline servers with bots, there is zero risk. In official Valve servers, like there's also nothing really to worry about. Face it is kind of like iffy, like it's not 100% confirmed if there are any exploits with, with Face it, but I don't see why there would be. So essentially the... The source code that did get leaked was from late 2017 and for CSGO especially, they have been able, you know, they've updated a majority of that. So like a lot of the bugs and exploits that would have been a problem back in the day aren't really a problem anymore. You know, they released the Panorama UI, which completely changed everything. And, you know, I, I feel like CSGO is going to be coming to Source 2 eventually as well. So, so basically, guys, CSGO is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And, you know, continue playing the game. However, though, there are going to be more cheaters online. So be very, you know, obviously just report them and let Overwatch do its job. Here's what I'm hoping that CSGO does with future updates. So because Valorant is coming out this summer officially, I think CSGO is going to do something crazy to like, you know, compete with Valorant. And I hope, now this is all speculation. There is no actual evidence be behind this. I mean, I guess there are some, there's some evidence that they are planning to port CSGO to Source 2, but I'm hoping that this summer, not only do they update, update the game to Source 2, but I hope they implement a better anti-cheat, you know, to help combat the amount of cheating. And on top of all that too, I think they should also up, upgrade their servers to 128 tick. Like honestly, like the only reason why they don't upgrade the game to 128 tick is just because, I mean, I guess if you have a crappier PC, it's harder to run the game, but like it's a competitive shooter. Like not updating the servers is just holding the game back in so many different ways. Like a lot of people argue that 128 tick really doesn't make a difference, but I mean, if it does, if it didn't, then why do pros play on 128 tick? Why are, why is every tournament played on a 128 tick server if matchmaking is only 64 tick? If it doesn't make a difference, right? 
honestly, I feel like the pros would definitely outweigh the cons if they updated the servers and just made everything more reliable and just made everything like faster and just better. I mean, it's, it's Valve, so who the hell knows what they're actually going to do. And let's talk a little bit about TF2 for a second, because that is the game that you probably do have to worry about playing. I mean, they didn't find anything wrong, but TF2 hasn't been updated nearly as much as CSGO, so the security probably isn't on par versus CSGO. So CSGO is totally fine, essentially, like all the exploits and all the bugs and stuff that people were worried about aren't really an issue on CSGO. As far as we know, on TF2, because the game hasn't been updated as many times since 2017, there are a lot more, there are a lot more chances that there could be like a crazy exploit. So I personally stopped playing TF2, but if you want to keep playing it, by all means, go for it. But it's a little risky, at least in my opinion. But anyways, regardless, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know that CSGO is totally fine. You can go back to playing it and uh just if you're worried just don't go on community servers just stick to regular matchmaking or if you want to play face it play face it i just want to spend a couple minutes just to talk about the future of the channel as well because i have some there's a lot of stuff that i haven't really talked about in videos that i've mentioned dozens of times on times on stream but since we only get about 30 viewers a stream you know it's I, th I feel like it makes way more sense to mention it in a video. So essentially, guys, we have we're going to be doing the ultimate neon themed inventory within the next five or six days. It just depends on when I get it done. Hopefully it won't take me too long, but, you know, I'm just I'm doing my best over here. So hopefully I'll be able to get it out you know, relatively quickly, but I still have to make the video and I still have to like f come up with like the list and everything and like, but it's going to be a fun video overall. So thank you to everyone who voted in that poll in the community post, because that was actually really helpful too, because I was going to do like the green themed inventory, but since there was so much demand for the best neon inventory, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing that. And I'll basically be keeping that series going as long as possible. Pretty much as long as the videos continue to hit the like goals, we'll keep making them on a weekly basis. And then once we stop hitting the like goals on those videos, when the hype starts to die down, we're going to be downgraded. We'll start doing them maybe like once a month or so. So it'll be way less often, but I mean, well, it's just based on like the demand. So if you guys want those videos and if you guys support the videos, I'll be able to keep doing them at, like, you know, really consistently. If not, then, hey, we'll slow down and we'll find, you know, some new types of content. We'll figure out different things to do. So that's what's going on with that series. Also, I've been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Z. We've, we've been streaming a lot of GTA, a lot of Modern Warfare, and also we've been, we've been playing a little bit of like CSGO as well. And right now we're trying to get partnered, uh, which is like one of the hardest things you can possibly do. Because to get partnered, you need to average 75 viewers a stream. And currently on a really good stream, we get about 30 on average. So we're, we're a little bit less than halfway there. But I have something really big planned. I'm basically planning on doing a seven knife giveaway. Or I want to give seven knives back to the community once we do get partnered. Which there's a chance that might never happen because I mean 75 viewers like that's that's a lot that's a lot of people showing up to every single stream like but hey I'm gonna do my best to try to stay consistent and as long as you guys keep showing up and as long as you guys keep showing support on the streams I'll be able to keep going so yeah that's that uh so yeah we have that planned uh also when we get partnered I also want to do it I want to try to do a 24-hour stream I don't know if I'll be able to actually stay up for 24 hours straight but I will do my best if I fall asleep midstream then then I fall asleep, whatever. Also, like, in the future, too, like, if the channel ever grows more, I want to do more, like, charity events and charity streams to, to, like, you know, help make the world a better place, you know, help people in need. Like, I would definitely, I would love to be able to do that. But as of right now, like, the channel's, well, I'm not really in any position to be able to make a difference. Like, if I tried to do a charity stream, we'd be lucky to raise, like, maybe three or four dollars, which that wouldn't really help anyone. So, like, I don't know. In the future, that's something that I, I want to look towards doing as the channel and as the community grows. And uh, I guess let's also talk about the Discord, too. So we, we do have a Discord server, and we have a lot of really cool active members. And I don't really talk in the general chat anymore because, like, I realized that talking in general chat was just a bad idea because I was around, like, trolls a lot of the time. And, I mean, there's a lot of nice people, obviously, but if you're a YouTuber and you talk in your own Discord server, there's going to be people who are going to try to, like, fuck with you. There's people who are going to try to, like, bring you down and just talk shit about you and stuff. So... I decided to just remove myself from that and I basically talk in Turbos Clubhouse, which is a new text chat where I talk to all Twitch subscribers and all patrons of all levels. Even like $1 patrons get access to it. It's kind of a way to like filter the people who are like the most supportive. Like basically the people who support the channel financially, they gain access to it. And I feel like, you know, if they're if they support the channel financially and they're helping me survive so I can continue to make more content, the least I could do is have like an exclusive chat where, you know, I can talk to them anytime I want. And I always like ask for like ideas or like, you know, like I ask like what, what they want to see like for videos. The feedback I've gotten has been pretty helpful. Like actually for today's video, I asked them uh, what I should add to the video. I'm not going to say anything bad about the suggestions, but 
they were there were like suggestions for like a standalone video i was just i was just trying to think of like something that i could just talk about for a couple minutes just to make this video a little bit longer i'm a sellout well dude i'm just trying to make a living all right man like i'm a full-time content creator as long as i make enough money to survive like i'm totally fine but like on youtube especially in 2020 it is not easy to do that because even though this has been the best month ever on YouTube, this month I haven't made enough money from ad revenue to be able to pay the bills and everything. I mean, it, you know, the, the little bit that I do make does help, but Twitch is by far my biggest source of income because that's where that's where all the support is. Because like just Twitch is a completely different environment, like just full transparency. So all the money that I make 100% comes from either the Patreon, which we I think we make about 60 or 50 or $60 a month from that. Uh, t-shirt merch sales so I, I do have some merch and no one has got any merch in like the last seven or eight months so that's not really like i don't know i guess i, I, pro I technically probably don't have to count it but i'm just gonna throw it in there because why not and then twitch so whatever i make from donations like basically bit donations or whatever i make from twitch subs that's what i make on twitch and then it's like a little bit from ads but it's really not enough to like live off of it's like a couple cents maybe <laughs> and then on youtube i make like maybe a dollar for every three to four thousand views right now just because so many people have ad blocks so not a great time to be a youtuber but you know i'm not going to stop i'm going to keep making content forever and nothing is ever going to stop me and as long as i can continue to make a living i'll be able to continue to upload two videos a week and i'll be able to stream three to four days a week as well so i'll be super consistent with the content but seriously guys thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for supporting the channel because i've i'm only here because of you guys so hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i guess get back to enjoying csgo and i'll be I'll, I'll actually be live again today actually i'll be live in about an hour so i'll see you guys there and uh join the discord if you haven't already because it's a pretty cool place also i want to plug the social media i have a twitter i have an instagram i have all that stuff so follow me on social media and yeah let's wrap up the video now anyways guys thanks for watching the video if you guys enjoyed it like comment share subscribe click that bell icon and if you watch the video all the way until the end leave a comment saying hashtag csgo more like cs too <laughs> yeah no that's so stupid but yeah and if you do that i'll do my best to try to give you guys a heart and just overall guys thank you so much for watching and yeah so this is some big news kind of late but I, I wanted to wait a week just to make sure that there weren't going to be any like crazy things popping up because for stuff like this sometimes it takes time for stuff to happen like it's not just going to instantly happen overnight like it's going to take a little bit of time to you know for things to really hit anyways guys thank you so much for watching it's turbo and i'm out peace